First, you're going to want to create the supports. I've already done this, but you can do so using the Add Support tool in the Tools tab. The next step is to create a new load case. Keep in mind that each load case is specified as a type of load, as you can see by viewing the Loading Type drop-down menu for all of the options. Stat Foundation Advanced organizes the reactions into these load types. The reactions will be assigned to each load in the next step. I'll make this particular load a wind load in the X direction. Give it any title you want as a reference. I will just put wind X. Then you can choose between primary, service, or ultimate as the load case type. For foundations, service loads are used to design the footing dimensions and ultimate loads are used to design the concrete reinforcement and footing thickness. Selecting primary load case will allow the load to be used for both service and ultimate design. Click Add when you're done. Create as many primary load cases as are relevant to your foundation. I will create two more, one dead load and one live load. Select the appropriate primary load case and right click Add a Column Reaction Load to add the reactions to the primary load case. I will just select arbitrary values. Then assign all of the reactions to the supports. It becomes apparent as you toggle through the primary load cases that they are not all added to the foundation in the geometric view at the same time. This insinuates that the primary load cases are currently treated as if they're acting on the foundation separately. Therefore, these load cases must be combined with the use of factors of safety in order to create a realistic load case scenario. Primary load cases are used as initial stepping stones towards the design of the foundation and the creation of load combinations, but the load combinations are used for its actual design. Load combinations can either be created manually or generated. I will use Generate for this example because it's faster. Generate load combination automatically generates all of the possible service and ultimate load combinations using the appropriate factors to satisfy the code which has been selected. There is more information on these two options in a separate video. Then generate both service and ultimate load combinations. The generated service and ultimate load combinations are now shown under Loads and Factors. As with the primary load cases, the service load combinations are used to design the footing dimensions and the ultimate load combinations for the concrete reinforcement and footing thickness. Finally, go to Create Job in preparation to create the job. I will create an isolated foundation and name it ISO1. Then the selected load cases must be chosen. Exclude the primary load cases because, as discussed earlier, only the load combinations should be used for design purposes. STAD Foundation Advanced will individually apply each load combination to the foundation and design each support according to its limiting load combination. The purpose is to increase efficiency in the design of individual supports. Click Create Job if you wish to continue with the isolated foundation. Thank you for watching.